Hey guys, uh, Doug Darbro, uh, Mass 1700. Uh, this is the online section for uh, fall 2015. Uh, I want to go over the syllabus with you. Um, you know, the first day of class, I always hear students say that, you know, well, you don't need to go to class. All he or she is going to do, uh, referring to your professor, is, is, is cover the syllabus. And, uh, you know, there may be some truth to that. I'm not really sure what every professor does in his or her class the first day. But, uh, and, you know, in a class of this nature, this is an extremely important video. Uh, especially for those of you who have never taken an online course before and you don't really know what to expect. And I will tell you that e the, uh, those of you who have taken an online course before, uh, the way I deliver mine may be completely different than uh, your online professor. So this is a, this is a, a really important video. Uh, for us to be able to connect, um, you're going to be able to get some easy points, some free points as I call them, if you, if you, uh, if you see this through. So... Uh, guys, I'll go into a lot more detail because we don't have the opportunity here for uh, question and answer. So if I'm in a classroom and, and I'm, uh, I'm uh, you know, presenting something and it's not clear, someone can raise their hand and I can uh, um, reteach it. But uh, it's not, not possible here for obvious reasons. <clears throat> uh, one thing to keep in mind here, I, I, I tell you, I love teaching this class. Uh, I actually wrote the class, Mass 1700. I wrote it back in, uh, gosh, I think 1997. Uh, my chair at that time said, Doug, let's get together and write this new course uh, called Finite Mathematics. And uh, I said, well, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll help you. So uh, he, uh, we got started. We met once. And then he got busy. And he said, hey, you know that course we were going to write? Uh, can you finish that? So I did. And uh, so I'm, pr I'm proud of this. I think it's a, I think it's a cool course. <clears throat> and... Uh, the thing that's so, you probably heard people talk about the course, the course is divided into two parts. The first part is a, you know, it's traditional math stuff. Uh, linear functions, exponential functions, uh, systems of linear equations, linear programming, things like that. The second part of the course is really, really, really cool. The second part of the course, I will teach you to calculate payments. <clears throat> so if you're going to buy a house for 100000 and you want to finance over 20 years, uh, what will be your payment? Uh, how much interest will you pay? How much will you save if you add $100 to each payment? So we get into some really cool things that are applicable um, to everyone's, um, uh, everyone's life. So right here, I call that the mathematics of finance. <clears throat> and I think you also, this matrices. Uh, matrices are very powerful, and they make certain types of problems that have been hard, uh, they make them easier, so... Uh, guys, course objectives, I, I'm not going to read all this to you because you're uh, capable of reading, but uh, one thing to keep in mind is this course satisfies the quantitative reasoning component of the GEP. Guys, the text is not required. Uh, don't go out and, and, and physically, you know, or I'm sorry, buy the physical text. I think I have it here someplace. Uh, it must be back in my office, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't have it. I'm not, not going to get it, but so the you know the physical textbook is not required, but what is required uh, is the online course management system called My Math Lab, and I'm going to bet as popular as My Math Lab has become over the past uh, you know five six seven years, that many of you have used uh, My Math Lab. Now, uh, <clears throat> if you go to Blackboard and let me let me get out of this and go to our Blackboard site, um, I have already. Uh, posted an announcement getting started but if you come over here under content and click content you're gonna see that ultimately as we <clears throat> get this course started the the videos the resources whatever there may be for the week <clears throat> I will have that under week zero so for example let me just go ahead and add this uh, the first week which is on August uh, 24th so I'll always have the date of the Monday of that week. Uh, so everything that, in fact, this video that you're getting ready to watch, <coughs> or uh, I guess you're watching it, uh, will be posted under this along with resources and videos for that particular week. I used to just have them just strung out. And, and, and people, my students, uh, my graduate level students told me that they thought it was easier that way. But... 
Uh, anyway, under week zero, you know, let's kind of get all this stuff started. I have a, uh, I took a screenshot of how you get started with my math lab. Now, guys, there's two ways to purchase my math lab. This is important. If you're blanking out and if you're texting someone or watching Grey's Anatomy right now, whatever you may be doing, uh, chill out and connect with me, okay? There's two ways to buy my math lab. You can buy, purchase it directly from the site. So if you will go to http uh, colon backslash backslash Pearson, uh, my lab uh, and uh, mastering.com, whatever all that says, uh, and follow these prompts, you're going to get the cheapest version uh, of access to my course. And guys, I'll get on in just a second and show you how all that plays out. Uh, but uh, for, for now, we, 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 you know, it's a requirement. This is where your test is going to be. Uh, when you come to campus for your exams, you're going to log on to your site. Uh, when you, um, um, you know, all your assignments are going to be there. Uh, the email that you supply there is going to be the email that I'm going to use to stay in touch with you. So that's very important. So uh, anyway, that's, um, this, this gives you a, a way of uh, kind of, a, you know, a laid out way of how to uh, enroll in my course. Uh, this is the course code. It's uh, provided here and also provided on the um, uh, on the syllabus. The other way to get my math lab, and if you've got student a uh, financial aid, this is probably what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to go to the bookstore at Shawnee State and actually buy the binder version of the book, and you're going to pay almost double. Uh, but within that, it's going to have a, a, a code, and you're going to type in the code, um, during the registration process so you got to have a credit card if you're going to purchase directly from the site but if you purchase from the bookstore using uh, well you could use the credit card over there I guess but you're going to pay almost double for access uh, to the site uh, cool thing is if something happens uh, this semester uh, let's say you know you have a parent get sick or you get sick or whatever and you have to drop uh, this access access to this course uh, is good forever uh, until the edition of the book changes, and this is a new edition, uh, or a newly updated edition, uh, you get that free. Guys, uh, something's going on, financial aid is, uh, guys, i got to have some coffee, hold on just a second. If financial aid is up, uh, being uh, held up for some reason, or uh, <clears throat> let's say you just want to fill all this out, you're not really sure yet whether you're, uh, you should be taking um uh, an online course, then if you come down to under request temporary access, uh, you can see that you can get a temporary access without payment for 14 days. So guys, if you're going to do that, don't, if you're watching this video, say, uh, you know, early in the week, Monday, Tuesday or so, uh, I wouldn't do that just yet. I would wait until probably, uh, I'd watch the videos for the week. And then I would wait until maybe next Monday because your first assignment's not going to be due uh, until, um, uh, I think, next Tuesday at 11.45 p.m. So you might want to wait until you're ready to do your first assignment before you uh, uh, do the uh, temporary access code. So that's something to think about. Okay, but let's get back to the, uh, to the syllabus. <coughs> Guys, the beauty of the online uh, section um, is, you know, I think the first thing you've got to ask yourself is, uh, is taking an online course a good option for you? And there's no way I can, uh, I can answer that. I think it's an excellent option for people who are self-disciplined, who are somewhat independent learners. And guys, you don't have to be a complete independent learner in mathematics. I know how hard that is for many, many students. But you got to have the time to watch my videos. So in essence, what happens, instead of you coming to campus for an hour and a half or so, every, or well, actually three hours every single week, uh, you're going to watch three hours of videos. I'm going to upload the, the, the lectures that I would have given in class, and you're going to be able to watch them anytime you want. The problem is sometimes people aren't self-disciplined, and they just cannot stay on track without someone um, kind of pushing them to do so. Uh, if that, and, and you know whether 
that you, that's you. If it is, this is not going to work for you. It's just not. I saw evidence this summer. People wouldn't stay in touch. They wouldn't watch the videos. They got far behind. They tried to watch, you know, like seven, eight weeks of videos the last week. To, you know, th this course is too hard to do that. Uh, but if you stay with me little by little, uh, I think this is going to be an option that many, many, many students are really going to get into and, and, and really like. So, But uh, <coughs> guys, that's up to you. Uh, you. You know who you are. I don't know you. Or I know some of you. I looked at the course roster today and I see some names of students I've had before. <coughs> it's good to see you, by the way, too. Uh, it's good to see you know that you're enrolled in my course. Uh, so I didn't turn you off in statistics, which is cool. Uh, so uh, I'm kind of rambling here, but uh, guys, uh, you know, really do a do an honest self-assessment. Uh, are are you someone that can um, that that can create a schedule and and be self-disciplined enough to watch approximately two and a half to three hours of videos per week and get your assignments turned in on time? Uh, and if you're not like that, there's nothing wrong with it. When I first went to college, there is no way I could have taken an online course because I was too busy having fun. I was too busy doing all sorts of other stuff, you know? And I don't think I could have ever, I, I know I wasn't. I wasn't self-disciplined enough at first to take a course of this nature. And I would have paid my money and wasted it and end up taking 1700 uh, uh, over again, and it would have been a waste of time. You've got to do that self-assessment, uh, that honest self-assessment, before deciding whether or not to stay in this course. And guys, I'll tell you right now, if, if you drop, it's not a problem. We got, uh, I think my waiting list right now uh, for 1,700 is like six students. So we got plenty of people wanting your seat. Uh, and I'm already six students over, so. Uh, the calculator, guys, this is required. I mean, there, this, is, this is not even, this is non-negotiable. Uh, you cannot get through this class without a graphing calculator. Uh, sometimes students will say, well, I can't afford that. Uh, well, if you can't afford it, then you need to drop and take 1700 another semester. It is critical. Uh, we do things in the mathematics of finance part, the linear programming. I show you, instead of using this complicated method called the simplex method, I show you how to work these uh, calculator, uh, these, these problems with your calculator. Guys, you, you got to have it. you got to have a TI-83 or 84 calculator. And again, if, uh, if funds are, are, are tough and... Uh, you just can't afford it, then guys, drop the class and take it in a later semester. Uh, budget things out to where uh, you, you, you can afford to do that. That, that A being bolded is bugging me. That shows how anal I am. Um, <coughs> but the, the, the graphing calculator is a critical part of this class. Now, how do you get your graphing calculator? Well, there's a lot of ways. Uh, the most expensive way is to go to our bookstore. And I understand they have to have a, a, a larger markup, uh, and, and that's fine. It's just the way things work. But you can get a graphing calculator a lot cheaper uh, other ways. Uh, I think Amazon.com is, is running a special right now. Uh, 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 one of the others, um, I forget. Uh, I think it's Office Depot. I'm not really sure. But just, just check around. Uh, buy a used calculator. And there's my dog. That's going to happen quite a bit. Uh, just let you know that my dog barks at everything that moves. And uh, it seems like every time I put up a video, here's, there's one of two things that happen. My dog either goes insane and or the UPS or FedEx guy comes. Uh, so just get, just get ready for all the, uh, uh, the interruptions. So. so it sounds like my dog is chilling out now, so that's cool. Uh, but buy a used calculator. Um, you know, you, you should buy, be able to buy a used TI-83 calculator uh, for, you know, 25 30 bucks. Uh, so, you know, don't go out and spend $180 on this big fancy smancy, you know, silver uh, platinum edition, you know, super size. Uh, don't do that. Just, just buy something basic and, uh, and, and I'm going to teach you how to use it. Uh, ADA state, statement, guys, uh, if you're entitled to anything under uh, uh, ADA, you got to let me know. Uh, send me an email. I've got a folder under our class for people who provide that information to me. Uh, I'll do everything in my power to make sure that those accommodations are uh, uh, provided. 
All right, guys, uh, it's an online course, but uh, when it was approved, it was approved as mostly online. And we have to have two mandatory on-campus sessions. And I thought, what better to do than a mandatory on-campus session than to take your exams? So, guys, on October 14th from 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock, you will have your first exam. You're probably sitting there freaking out thinking a five-hour exam. It's not like that. Uh, I will have a computer lab, and you can drop in any time from 2 to 7. You can't start before 2. you got to end by 7 because the, the exam will cut off at 7. Uh, and uh, uh, first exam, I'd say, is going to be somewhere, for most of you, about an hour. So drop in any time between 2 and 7, take your exam, uh, go home, and, uh, and start on the second part of the class. Uh, the final is on December 16th. I think both of those dates are, are Wednesdays. Uh, and again, that's also from 2 to 7. Now, guys, if, you're wor if you work, and uh, you're going to have to ask off for a couple of hours. Um, exams must be proctored. So, um, and I know there's some people, uh, I had a student from Los Angeles, California, taking my class this, uh, this summer. Well, they had to go to a testing center. Um, so a testing center is going to charge you about 50 to $75 uh, to test. It's really expensive in California, more expensive in California than it is uh, San Columbus. At, uh, uh, I think one of the community colleges up there does it for like 15 bucks or something. Uh, but, but, but your exam has to be proctored. And uh, I don't, guys, I don't have the time to meet you at like 11 o'clock at night and sit here in Google Hangout and watch you take your test. I don't to have the time to do that for, uh, uh, what, a hundred and some students. So, guys, uh, just, just you got to come to campus on th these. Uh, giving you a lot of flexibility. If you work till 5 and you work in Chillicothe, you've got an hour to get here. Uh, maybe you want to take a vacation, maybe a couple of hours. Guys, you put on your calendar. October 15th, uh, 14th and December 16th, you are forced to be on campus. All right. Uh, tutoring, uh, from time to time, uh, math gets a little challenging. Uh, you've got some options for, uh, for tutoring. <coughs> uh, office hours, uh, go to the math lab, which is um, located in the administration building, and uh, go see the graduate assistants, Melissa and Allison, are getting paid to help you. So it's free tutoring uh, for you, as in the math lab. So when you go in the math lab, ask for Melissa or Allison, uh, if they are busy, uh, there are other people who work in the math lab that can help you with this, uh, uh, this class, too. Now, let me explain office hours. Office hours are a little, no, they're not a little different. They're, they're drastically different. Um, office hours are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now, Tuesday, uh, uh, well, that's not, that's not right. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking about there. Uh, Tuesday, 3 to 4. Guys, I will be on campus uh, on uh, Tuesdays, so I'm not really sure what was going on with that. Um, so Tuesdays, I will be on campus most uh, most Tuesdays. So uh, you can come in and ch and, ch and and meet face to face on Tuesdays. I'll probably get in about ten, uh, but I'll also be available from three to four uh, uh, on Tuesdays. Uh, Wednesdays, uh, I'll be on campus from 1 to 3. Uh, I'll probably actually be on campus earlier, but I'll have meetings with, with other things I'm involved in. And then every Friday morning, I'll be available uh, via Google Hangout online for, for office hours. Okay? So if you want to uh, set up a, a, an office hour session, and let's say that you can't make any of those times, just write me an email and say, Hey, Dr. Darber, i got... Uh, any chance we can meet uh, Saturday morning at uh, you know nine o'clock, and, and I'll, you know chances are I'll be able to do that. Except when football season starts. When football season starts, I'll be at the UK football games. Yeah, I did. I, I wore my UK stuff today for a reason. I didn't want uh, any misunderstandings. If you guys think I'm like an Ohio State fan or something, uh, big blue all the way. All right, calculating your final grade. Uh, your uh, first exam is going to be thirty percent. Your final exam thirty five. <clears throat> online assignments. Uh, your first assignment, all you got to do is get on the blackboard and introduce yourself. Uh, your second assignment uh, is going to be due Tuesday, September the 1st. Third assignment, Tuesday, 
September 8th. So guys, you're going to uh, be guaranteed uh, an assignment due every single Tuesday at 11.45 p.m., okay? Um, so don't come up and say, well, ah, Dr. Darber, I didn't know we had an assignment due. I'm telling you right now. You are going to have an assignment due on my math lab every Tuesday at 11.45 p.m. And if there's going to be some kind of random rare Tuesday where we don't have uh, uh, an assignment due, uh, then um, I'll let you know. But yeah, other than that, um, uh, just, just go ahead and plan for that. Let me, let me explain how to introduce yourself on Blackboard. So let me bring that up. If you go to Blackboard, I think this is our uh, site, yeah. Um, uh, come over here to Discussions. And uh, what I say here is please introduce yourself to the class, and I can tell you, you know, what, uh, what all I want, uh, five-year plan, uh, you know, your hometown, yada, yada, yada. And number three, tell me something interesting about you, okay? So to do this, uh, what, what you want to do is go in our introductions. Just click this. <clears throat> it looks like we've got some uh, students who have already uh, uh, introduced themselves, so i gotta, uh, got to grade those. It's going to be easy to grade because if you do it, you get 100 points. And just go up here and do create a thread. And wait a minute. There might be a thread actions. Uh, I think that's for me. All right. So uh, go up here and uh, create a thread. And I'm going to say Doug Darbro. So type your name. And I'm going to say hello or something. Uh, my name uh, is Doug Darbro. And I am your professor. I live in Carlisle, Kentucky, and yada, yada, yada. Now I'll go ahead and, uh, and, and uh, you know, finish that out in case you want to know more about me. Um, but I'm not going to now. So if you want to upload a, a picture, uh, you can browse your computer uh, and put a picture of yourself. That's kind of cool. Um, and all you got to do now is just submit. Uh, and when you submit this, then you're going to see that uh, you have a thread under the introduction. Now I'm going to delete that because uh, uh, I want to put uh, put one up where I actually do introduce myself and, and tell you... Um, Tell you some stuff. All right. Uh, so, uh, guys, that's the way you do that. So, again, back to the home page. Uh, when you come to Blackboard, really the two things you're going to look for is you're going to come to content so you can look at the videos and discussions uh, to, get, uh, to get the easy 100 points for your first assignment. Now, I think it's going to be beneficial to see how a class looks when it's operational, fully operational. And I taught 1700 uh, this summer. And let me see if I can find that. I uh, don't know why it's not showing up. Um, let's see. <laughs> I, think, um, I think this is it right here. Let's, let's try this out. All right, if I go to the discussion board here, uh, yeah, this is my summer class. So when it's all said and done, when you go to content, uh, you're going to see all of these weeks. Uh, and the summers are a 10-week session. We'll have uh, 16 uh, weeks, uh, actually, for our class. But when you come into some random week, like week four, what you're going to have is you'll have the videos for the week. So, guys, all you got to do is just click that. It'll take you directly to YouTube. And you'll see something like this. All right, so I'm sure you can't wait to get uh, to get all that started and listen to me talk about systems of linear equations. Guys, I'll teach it. I'll have a lot of handouts. Uh, uh, there's no handouts for this one, but um, you know, I think maybe later on there were uh, some handouts that were posted too. Yeah, handout number one. This was uh, handout number two. Uh, these handouts went with these videos and uh, stuff. So uh, that's where you get your resources. Uh, it's through Blackboard, but uh, my math lab is where you get your assignments. So uh, let me uh, log on to my math lab and show you how that's going to look. Uh, it's an important part of the class. So 
so I'm already signed in. I have no idea what Yuzu is. Uh, I'm sure you guys probably do. Because I know you're cooler than me. Uh, all right, let's go. Just let's go to the summer. Uh, yeah, let's go to the summer. But guys, when you come on here, it's going to take a little uh, bit to kind of get used to it. But uh, primarily, the only places you really need to worry about are the homework tab and the gradebook tab. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, the gradebook is tricky because the gradebook has this automatic uh, uh, valuing system that makes no sense. So there's a lot of times there that it will weight a 10-point assignment the same as a 100-point exam. Because that's not the way it works. So sometimes that percentage that you see when you log on to, to my math lab isn't accurate. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. Apparently, I didn't do very well because I only had a 68.3%. Uh, of course, I didn't do most of the assignments because I don't have to. So, guys, when you go to homework, uh, you're going to see something like this. Now, you can't click these because, again, this is for my summer class and the due date has passed on by. But if it's an active assignment and it's ready for you to submit, you can just click that. <coughs> and again, it's not going to let me, but I can uh, go in here. Uh, and again, it's not going to let me because the, 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 the dates are, the due dates are, are gone. But then you'll have your assignment and, uh, you know, you'll start your assignment and uh, uh, enter your answer and so on and so forth. It's, uh, it's actually pretty easy. All right, let's go back to the syllabus and wrap this thing up. Um, another part of your grade is this video notebook. Now, guys, you don't have to go on a, you know, create a video of a notebook. What I'm doing there is if I see evidence that you are watching the videos, then you're going to get extra, no, it's not extra credit. It's going to be part of your grade. So if you don't watch the videos, uh, You'll get a zero there. If there's evidence that you are, you'll get an easy uh, score that contributes 10% of your final grade. Uh, let me show you how that works. So let me go back to um, 1700, uh, our class now. So back in the week zero, let's getting started, there is a video notebook pages. Now, when you download that, this is what you're going to get. And there's something called a Cornell... Uh, uh, note taking format. So what I would do if I were you, there's going to be about, uh, I'm going to say about 50 videos. So I would go to the library and pull this up and print about 25 or 30 of them. So your first topic, let's say uh, first name, uh, Doug Darbro. If you're like me, that would drive you crazy. So I would come in and get rid of some of this. We're at uh, uh, video, and I'll say number one, uh, getting started. And the date watched, uh, August 24th, 2015. Guys, you can write this in if you want, if it's easier. But uh, I want you to put the, over here a hole punch and buy one of those cheap binders. And don't give me, you know, I can't afford it. Guys, you can buy one of those for 50 cents. <coughs> it's not a big deal. Uh, or come up with a creative way to put these things together. So when you come in and take your first exam, you're going to hand this to me. And I'm going to grade it, and most of you will get 100 and so on and so forth. So over in this part, uh, ideas, uh, I would put number one, uh, how to... Uh, Solve a system of linear equations. And then over here I would write uh, examples. Uh, something uh, that you got out of the, uh, uh, you know, specific exa examples out of, the, uh, uh, out of the video. You guys down here I'd write a summary. So this is not only uh, to help me see that you are, or to, at least to validate that you are watching the videos, uh, and give you actually some, some pretty easy points by doing so. It's also something that's going to really, really, really help you when it comes time to study uh, for your midterm and your final. So, uh, guys, think of this as required. Uh, you know, uh, let's think about it. You get a zero on this. 
it just pretty much decreases your grade by 10 percent uh if you've got a 90 on all exams and all assignments don't do this it you know drops you down to an 80 so uh yeah we don't want that you guys suck it up i'm not re we, you're not required to come to class you don't have to get in the car and drive uh you got the time to watch these videos if you don't have the time to watch the videos then you shouldn't be taking the class uh so uh, that's what's going on here with the video notebook uh, class policies uh, turn your cell phones off when you're testing uh, in fact, if I see you with a cell phone while you're testing, you've had a bad day. Uh, you know, I, I'll give you a zero uh, automatically. If you're sick and you can't make an examination, and documentation will be required for a makeup. Um, guys, I'm not on class that much, so uh, you know it's it's kind of hard for some of you to uh, for us to to meet. I'm, I'm teaching all online courses now, and. Uh, I'm doing a research sequence for my graduate students, and that requires a lot of Google Hangout sessions. So, uh, but uh, but guys, I'm I'm available for help. Uh, but uh, you know, in terms of coming to class and meeting you on your schedule for a makeup, uh, that's that's going to be hard to do. So so make every uh, effort to uh, to get to campus for the on-campus uh, session. Uh, if you need special testing accommodations, now guys, I'm not talking about ADA compliance. That's a situation where you go to the, uh, the, student, uh, the uh, student Success Center and you know, we take care of things there. But if you need special testing accommodations, let's say, for example, on uh, October the 14th, uh, you've got a conference in, <clears throat> in Columbus and you just can't, uh, you just can't get to campus. Well, you're going to have to go to a testing center in Columbus, pay the fifteen to fifty dollars uh, to have your exam proctored. So um, I'm going to dig my heels in on this one. I I I, I got kind of wishy washy with that this summer, and it didn't work well. Uh, you don't have to come to campus, but you have to make uh, uh, the, your exams have to be proctored. And the easiest way to get them proctored is just drive to campus. Uh, Guys, you will have an assignment posted each week unless otherwise announced. So again, don't come up and say, oh, I didn't know we had an assignment due. You have an assignment due every week, so uh, it's a, it's a no-brainer. Assignments are due every Tuesday. Uh, your assignments will be posted by 7 p.m. on Wednesday of the prior week. So that gives you about six days to uh, actually do an assignment. <clears throat> the day in, week in, week out, it's going to take you about one hour uh, to, uh, to submit. Guys, 50% penalty is going to be assessed to any assignments that are, aren't submitted uh, by the due date. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, I, don't, I don't bend that. Uh, it, 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 the reason I don't is because if it happens to you one time, it doesn't make a big deal anyway. Not in the final calculation of your grade. But if it becomes a habit and you continuously are turning things in late, then it makes a big deal. And uh, I, you're penalized, and I think you should be. Um, guys, I don't want to be teaching in week you know, 12, and you back here in week six farting around with something that we, we studied two months ago. I want to keep you on uh, target uh, with, with our schedule. <clears throat> Guys, speaking of uh, tentative schedule, I've got, um, you know, this is, this is the way the course plays out. Um, so um, it's a cool course. It really is. It's a, <clears throat> gosh, um, allergies are kicking my tail this morning. Uh, it's a cool course. It's um, uh, something that, uh, you know, of course I'm proud of, and um, I think you'll like it. I really do. I know you'll, I know you'll love the second part. This, uh, this mathematics of finance part uh, right here is really cool stuff. <clears throat> All right, gang, uh, I guess that's it. Um, it seems to be. Uh, let's, let's go back over it just, just for the heck of it. Uh, Office hours, uh, I'll be on campus Tuesdays and Wednesdays of most weeks. Uh, otherwise, you and I can meet uh, Google Hangout. Uh, guys, you need to set up a Google Plus account. And uh, once you do that, um, you know, play around with getting in a Google Hangout session with someone um, and set it up. So, um, you know, because if we meet at, say, 10 o'clock at night, uh, let's say we have to have a special meeting or something um you know i don't want you farting around till 10 30 trying to figure it out i want you to have it figured out before we 
uh, get it uh, going. And there's all sorts of there's YouTube videos, you know, how to set up, how to join a Google <coughs> Hangout session. So there's 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 plenty of help out there. And those are the things you got to do on an online course. Uh, you get to stay at home. You get to hang out like me. I got my workout shorts, and you know, I'm uh, and, you know, I'm just hanging out here. <coughs> you can do the same thing. Um, uh, taking the course, but uh, still, I mean, there's things things that um, you know academic standards that still have to be met. So, uh, guys, you got to get the calculator. You have to have my math lab. <clears throat> uh, textbook is not required. I will never say um, you know go to page 22 and read you know those three pages. And if we do, uh, I mean the textbook is actually there's there's a uh, electronic version of the textbook on my math lab called an ebook. So, uh, guys, there's the course code. You're going to need that uh, to register for my math lab. <clears throat> and uh, I guess I think everything else is, uh, is just going to play out nicely. So, uh, guys, uh, what, what are the things you need to do? Uh, you need to get your my math lab account. You need to get your graphing calculator. Uh, I'll post a video on linear equations here uh uh, very soon. In fact, by the time you watch this, it should be uh, should be posted, and um, and we'll get this car, uh, course started. So, uh, guys, uh, take care.